In this video, I'm going to share three strategies, three tips that smart couples use to talk about money in their relationship without getting into destructive fights. Okay, are you ready? I'm Dr. Don. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, talking about money is one of the hardest things. It's one of the most sensitive things. It's also one of the uh, most essential kinds of conversations for couples to have. But it's difficult. Here's why. It's difficult because money is a, actually a very emotional topic. Money and sex, money and sex, sex and money. They're two emotional topics that bring with them a lot of, a lot of emotional baggage. So let's get right into it. Three tips that smart couples use to talk about money without getting into destructive fights. The first thing is that smart couples recognize that money always means something more than the cash, right? There's a meaning, a significance attached to, you know, spending money or saving money. A couple that I was recently talking with was exploring this um, this, you know, this meaning and significance. One of the people in the relationship um, had stories from her background, from her family of um, just kind of not having enough money and, and it being very, very difficult for close family members when there just wasn't enough money to meet very basic expenses. It was extremely difficult, extremely upsetting, extremely distressing. So for that person, money represented security of not being in that very distressed state. Her partner had a different meaning and significance attached to money. Money was something to play with, something to invest uh, speculatively, right? Not in as a, you know, a, a secure investment with slow growth using compound interest, but for uh, for the for the other partner, money represented here's something to play with speculatively, almost like going to the horse races and betting on horses. Okay, so completely different emotional baggage attached to money for that couple, and fortunately they were able to talk it through. The conversation went really well, and that leads me to the second point: is understanding and empathizing with your partner's meaning and significance about money. So one of the very powerful um, communication strategies that a couple can do is, is listen and ask questions to find out from your partner, what does this represent to you? You know, so if your partner comes to you and says, hey, I wanna buy a boat, then you can ask the partner, hey, you know what, help me to understand um, what does having a boat mean to you? And the partner might say, well, you know what, uh, our neighbor got a boat and I feel like I'm not keeping up and so I want to buy a boat that's like bigger than my neighbor's boat because, uh, you know, life is a competition. Oh, <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> that's what having a boat means to you. So empathizing, understanding, validating, just basic communication skills, but applied in this sensitive area of, of money. If that um, empathizing and understanding and, and validating is reciprocal, then that's going to clear a lot of the uh, potential for hurt and, and, um, and conflict in a communication uh, a conversation around money. A third tip or a third strategy, really basic, really obvious, is sitting down and creating a budget together. The, the nuance that I'm gonna add that you probably haven't heard is when you have that conversation, setting up a budget, you know, here's our income after, you know, taxes and deductions, and so here's our, you know, here's the kind of the money that comes into the house, literally and here's our expenses. Having that conversation in the grammar of we and us, where are we going to spend? 
what kind of a budget line are we going to have for entertainment for dinner out or whatever so uh, that it's not you know I want to spend this much money here and you want to spend that much money there it's it's we're deciding we're gonna spend this much here or we're deciding together that um, we're going to do go down to one income or go up to two incomes or go up to three jobs, uh, so what you, whatever, whatever the details are, making that a conversation about we and us. When we do that in uh, you know, a, um, a sensitive conversation, then suddenly the couple are, an al are allied and the problem is over there. The problem is, is separate from the individuals of the couple, right? If it's typical conflict that lots of couples have, then it's, it's this. It's the couples are sort of locking horns and they're going against each other. And they're feeling as if their partner is the adversary. That's going to be destructive. That's going to be very unhelpful. So instead we want, we want the problem or maybe the, 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 the shortage of money to be the adversary and the couple are allies against that adversary. That changes up the conversation and that changes up the amount of stress, conflict, anxiety and hurt feelings that come from uh, conversations about money. And that's three tips for how smart couples talk about money without getting into destructive fights. Hey, while you're here, subscribe, click like, send a comment, and uh, let's keep the dialogue going.